Hi there, this is Mladen Ivanovic from Complementary Training and in this video I want to show you cool new features of Train Car Builder 4.0. Uh, compared to the last last version we have multiple multiple cool features and um, I'll just go quickly uh, over uh, most of them. Let's start by adding a new athlete. So let's call him test athlete 1. And you know, we can do in different groups. Uh, body weight 100 kilos. Let's say he squats 100. And in the case, if you are wondering, you can uh, modify every table, every drop down quite easily. Um, let's give him a hex bar um, deadlift as a maximum test. And we say it's at 200 kilos. Then we can add exercises. Uh, I already have plenty of exercises inside uh, different categories. Again, you can change the category. So let's call this single leg hex bar. I don't know how you can do it, but just for the sake of example, um, we call it um, lower body, uh, lower body. Again, you can change the categories any way you want. Uh, let's go lower body, single leg, supported. And in this case, that's around 50% off. And then you'll see the new exercise, the new text exercise on the drop down. So 50% and body, body weight used is zero. This is a cool feature I explained uh, multiple times when it comes to say pull-ups. Uh, you can put the total system uh, mass and put, you know, 100%. So uh, the uh, the Excel deducts uh, body weight, so it gives you the external load only. Uh, rounding is important feature you need to select. So uh, we're going to round it to closest 2.5 kilos or pounds. Again, this is useful for kettlebells, so you can round to uh, closest 4 and so forth. If you want to list exercises, again, you can uh, change these. Uh, what we need to do in this uh, this version, we need to refresh because we're going to use a conditional um, drop-down list. Uh, text is something that, that's below the exercise description, as you so soon see, and set and rep schemes. And we have room for 400. Again, uh, there are some inside already. Uh, let's call this hex bar progression. And we have different categories. So this could be, again, you can modify it any way you want it by clicking over here. Uh, so let's say this is a strength category. You can put a description. And let's go 50. 60, 70, 80, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we ended up here. Uh, 55, 65, 75, 85, 4, 3, 2, 1. And let's do 60, 80, 90. So this could be. Same four, three, two, one. We click refresh. Pre activity prep, you can define uh, different uh, warm ups. Mm. Post activity, this could be something that doesn't necessarily need a uh, precise prescription. Uh, that could be finishers, that could be upper body circuits, whatever, or even conditioning. So now we have a workout card. This is a printout version, uh, so you can go on a normal one. We have some cells hidden here and here. So we have up to six days or six workouts. In this case, we can select the athlete from a drop down. I can zoom in a bit. So let's say select test athlete number one. As you can see, he's already there. And uh, we can select, uh, you know, body weight uh, as a 
you know, maybe jogging as a second warm up part. So we have three parts and you can uh, pick and choose, change the uh, date, uh, the session type. Again, these are all modifiable if you go to config, sorry, in the, in the settings. And let's say I want to do uh, movement. Uh, what did we select? So now we have a uh, conditional drop down list. So I can select uh, movement. In this case, we used to have single leg, if I remember correctly, single leg supported. And exercise was single leg hex bar. So as you can see, it's easily to add your own exercises and change. And then we're going to use the strength category and we have a hex bar progression as you can see we see our own progression and the maximum weights are uh, calculated uh, from here since he's maximum on a single one is 50 percent of of 200 which is his hex bar then his maximum here is 100 kilos uh, text box is this area be below the exercise description so you can punch in anything you want. Pretty much you can set up for every exercise, uh, same. If you have any supersets or anything, we can easily, uh, you know, enter extra description or color code. And, you know, when we print that out, it's gonna look nice. So we can write superset number one, superset number two. Um, at the bottom, we have uh, same thing for upper body, we have a finisher, sorry, for, sorry about that, so we have we have finisher, now I have only one in the list, but you can you can add, you know, different ones, uh, so same for every, every, uh, every day we can, we can change the exercises and uh, set and rep schemes, again, the new, the cool new features are uh, conditional drop down lists when it comes to exercises and set and rep schemes. What we have now um, is, is the ability to print a program, which is already inside the uh, version 3.2. So if you select print, you can select the athletes you want to print. And then you can select how many days per week you want to print. So two days is going to print first uh, two sessions, four uh, one to four and six all six uh, the important thing is to set up the printer bef beforehand so you print on a on a on a um, on double page and flip on a on a short side um, what's a cool feature in this one we can save a program so let's call this program number five test with single leg hex And I can clear this one program, so I can load. I already have a couple of programs inside, so if I select this one, I can load it up. Um, or we can load another one, so I have a couple of one, just for, sake, for the sake of example. So it fills, up, uh, fills out the program. Again, you need to select, uh, because once you load the program, it clears up the athlete. So we can select another athlete. Um, so we can save and load program, we can clear the current page and we can actually delete programs. So uh, let's let's delete this one, sorry. So and load, it's not, not, not on the list anymore. The cool new feature is this pivot table. So now we can analyze basically anything we want. And let me just scroll here. In this case, I wanna see uh, number of reps per week uh, per movement category so every time I load another program or if I change any exercise I can refresh a pivot and it's going to give me in this case progression of uh, num number of reps this could be changed to uh, actual exercise exercise name so then I can see it's uh, I have a couple of Olympic lifts clean hang clean in this case, the total reps uh, done per exercise uh, per week. Uh, we can select 
uh, let's say we can select the maximum <coughs> maximum uh, percent of one RM used. It's easy to give to get the estimate. So uh, depending what categories you're using, again, this is all flexible and modifiable. You can you can get the analysis of the of the workouts, and then you can double check for a balance for let's say a <coughs> vertical push or vertical pull or horizontal push or horizontal pull. Uh, you can also uh, check what what um, uh, if if um, if you have. Uh, one RMs. You can actually also test for a tonnage. So we can go to some and get the tonnage again. Th this depends on the athlete selected, where uh, relative volume and uh, number of reps they don't depend on uh, on athlete selected. So this pivot table gives you tremendous flexibility in analyzing the program. Uh, you can even split it based per day, uh, uh, even you know what category of of the of the exercise of the strength and rep set and rep schemes were used. Let me see if this is gonna work. Or maybe I should put it in the columns, and then we can we can play with this one and then get the. Um, Get the number of let's say sets, uh, so we can see the clean <coughs> use 144 sets in anatomic adaptation, hypertrophy, and so forth. So again, tremendous, <coughs> tremendous power with uh, with this analytic. Uh, once you load the, the new program, it's automatically refreshed. But if you change anything here. Um, in terms of um, exercise or, or um, <clears throat> certain rep schemes, you need to manually refresh the pivot, which makes sense. The group workout is pretty much the standard feature. In this case, we have multiple athletes across, and here we can select different, let me zoom in, um, different, um, Exercises again, conditional formatting. We can select a uh, uh, conditional drop down list, movement exercise category of the set and rep scheme, uh, selected set and rep scheme, and, um, <clears throat> and a week. So we, we want to change. So we're going to do week three, week four. In a team settings, there's no uh, saying of the programs. This is quite useful feature if you're dealing with multiple athletes at the same time and they're doing the same uh, exercise, uh, sorry, same workout. But you want to uh, individualize the training load based on their maximums. So that's pretty much what it what is doing here. Um, if you have any special groups, you can go to athletes, change the group and sort, and that's gonna affect the the, the the printout, or you can change the index over here. So if you click uh, print, sorry, this is how it's gonna look. Um, again. It's easy to change uh, the now all the cells are unprotected, so you can change the size of the fonts and everything. Same thing for a workout card. Uh, if I close these guys and I hit print, this is what I'm gonna get. So once I set up, so I wanna print uh, landscape, I wanna print on uh, double, <coughs> sorry, double sided, and flip on a short, short side, and then I can use the uh, the script to print for multiple athletes. So that's a group workout, and then we have program analytics, which is pretty much the same pivot table as the one uh, I showed before. So we can, <coughs> uh, you know, we can we can change. Uh, uh, we, we can do a separate analysis over here if you want to. Um, and now we have settings, with, where we can uh, you can change all the drop-down lists. So, uh, like groups, uh, exercise categories. So you can you can all delete this and put your own. Uh, something that's not modifiable is going to say do not modify. Uh, so equipment rounding. 
Um, <clears throat> these are the pivot tables used for our drop down lists. Uh, categories of the set and reps, uh, schemes, and so forth, the name of the days and session types. So all, these are all drop down lists. So, you know, once you, once you select this up the way you want it, it's quite easy to set up the programs. Anyway, with, um, with these new features, uh, saving and loading makes this much, much easier to use. And you can you can create a program for a given individual. You can say a hamstring return to play protocol and save it. So, and, you know, it's easy to save new program, delete the programs and run the analytics. So pretty, pretty cool features. Uh, all of this is working um, on both Mac and PC. Uh, the only problem as I have now at this stage is printing. So printing doesn't work on, on Excel for Mac. It only works for uh, on Excel for uh, PC. Uh, but that's going to be fixed in, in the new installments. Thanks for watching and, you know, stay tuned.